Now we want to take a, a brief look at each of the mediastinal areas. And the purpose of taking a, a look or a stop at each one is to understand the major or key viscera that are occupants of these mediastinal divisions and subdivisions. So the superior mediastinum will have the trachea that we see here, and then running posterior to it in the superior mediastinum will be the esophagus. In the superior and anterior mediastinum, up until puberty and a little bit beyond, your major occupant that will reside in both of these mediastinum collectively uh, will be the thymus gland. The thymus gland reaches its maximum mass at around puberty, and that mass is in the neighborhood of 35 grams. Thereafter, it involutes. And so we have a degeneration of the thymic uh, tissue. So very little remains uh, in an elderly uh, person. And what does remain is scattered within adipose tissue uh, that would be located uh, within these uh, mediastinal compartments. The major function of the thymus gland is to educate. Educate our key lymphocytes so that then they are able to recognize self-antigens. And if this educational process goes awry, uh, that can lead to autoimmune disorders. Our middle mediastinum is depicted uh, here. The pericardium is shown, so that would be an occupant of the middle mediastinum. Lying deep would be the heart, and the uh, initial segments of the great vessels would also uh, lie within the me middle mediastinum. Uh, when we um, think about the heart within the middle mediastinum, and we think about cardiac valves, the four cardiac valves, a very important part of the physical uh, examination uh, is to listen to the cardiac valves in your patients. There are topographic relationships that you need to bear in mind to best auscultate the cardiac valves. And so if we take a look here, we have the aortic valve being depicted here, and note the vector of blood ejection going up into the right side of the body. This is then the optimal location to pick up the sounds that emanate from the aortic valve, and this area is in the right second intercostal space. We also have, right in through here, the pulmonic or pulmonary semilunar valve. And again, if you follow the vector of blood flow out through this valve, you will see that the best area or the optimal area to detect closure of this valve is going to be in the second intercostal space as well, but in the left intercostal space. If we take a look at our atrioventricular valves, which lie here and here, here's your tricuspid. And the best location to pick up uh, auscultation from the right atrioventricular valve is going to be in the right uh, fourth intercostal space. And then here is the vector that's associated where we can best hear the closure of your left AV valve, and that is at the level, the apex of the heart. So that's going to be in the left fifth intercostal space. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.